Facebook guys, welcome. Um, I'm gonna camp here overnight. Um, we've had some water the last few days, so I'm hoping this pool here is gonna uh, have some uh, fish up in it, some sea trout. Um, but if not, we'll just have a night camping. Um, it's a little misty right now, but it is supposed to clear off. It's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. It's supposed to clear off this evening, so hopefully we don't have any uh, rain uh, tonight, um, and I can stay dry in my truck tent. Um, and um, so. What I'm going to do is um, show you quickly um, all of my gear um, that I'll be having here tonight. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll take you from this to this. Um, but for now I'll show you um, I have everything in here. Need for tonight, um, and I'll show you a little bit of my gear. Um, so I have um, my tent is in there, um, my sleeping bag. I have a um, I have a, uh, a foam pad uh, to sleep on tonight. I have um, some uh, foam things for the bed of the truck. Um, the tent truck comes all the way out to here. I think I might pull the truck in a little bit. Um, and uh, so I have uh, everything there ready to go. I have blue eddy. I have my sleep machine. Um, I have what I'll be using, um, and I regret it not taking this last week, um, is my canoe. I have my 12-foot Old Town Pack, um, which is, uh, I've had this canoe probably going on 15 years. Um, I've uh, had a lot of fish in the bottom of this boat uh, over those 15 years. Um, it's been an excellent canoe for me. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't make enough videos <laughs> to get sponsored by anybody. Um, however, I'm trying to build the channel, so maybe if you uh, like and subscribe to the video, um, uh, I'll get somewhere with it. I don't know. We'll see um, if you'll do that. Uh, and maybe I'll do some more videos. Um, I'm going to maybe wait a little bit. I'm going to take the canoe off, uh, take it down to the water. I'll wait a bit for I set up before I set up. Sorry, because uh, it is heavily misting right now, and I don't want it to get wet. Uh, inside uh, but I did want to tell you about my old town pack um, it's been a, a wonderful little canoe I paddle it like a kayak um, I've had, uh, actually bought a seat for it that lowers the center of gravity in it um, and it paddles very much like a kayak so it's been a great little canoe uh, right now I'm gonna get the canoe off uh, and I am going to um, I'll take it down to the water but I'm gonna close up my truck bed and my tonneau cover to keep everything dry while I do that because it is misting um, and I'm hoping that this mist is going to actually stop. Bugs are quite bad um, today and they will be here um, so uh, uh, they'll be here <laughs> they'll be bad all night so um, anyways uh, it, it is what it is um, and uh, yeah we'll deal with the bug situation uh, but right now we're going to get uh, the canoe off and um, Bring the camera around here. I'll get the canoe off. Hopefully it's not too wet for the camera. Um, and uh, we'll get the boat down to the water. That'll be our first task before we do anything else. Maybe first task is to put on some rain here just to stay a little bit dry. More of a heavy mist right now as opposed to rain, so I'm not necessarily getting wet. But stay in it long enough and you will get wet. I never know when I camp here uh, whether or not there'll be anybody here or not. It's, uh, I think, a provincial park, not maintained, obviously, but um, um, but people can can camp here, and um, so I never know if there's going to be anybody here or not, or people using it. And, and of course, I don't want to get in their way. Um, I want to show you a little bit of the gear that I have um, here. I've got the Thule roof racks. I did a video reviewing those and how easily those. Come on, um, I have the Thule canoe carriers here. 
Um, and I'll see if I can focus in on those a little bit. Um, and the gunnels of the canoe fit right down into those. Um, they say to tie down the bow and stern, but I've, <laughs> 15 years, I've never done that. Um, these things hold it on really solid um, with the straps that go over them, and so I've never, I've never really had to do that, and I haven't lost a canoe yet, traveling on the highway and everything, so, um, yeah. And these are just self-cinching straps. These ones I got from MEC, the other ones are Cooley. We are an area here that there's a lot of permanent residents, so uh, lots of cars going by all the time. Biggest drag of my little truck is this antenna at the back. It's an easy lift over, but nice thing about this canoe. 33 pounds. The water is up quite a bit from when I was here last week, so that should be a good sign. Uh, hopefully there's some fish moving, and some fish have come up in the, uh, into the pool. So what I've done here is uh, sped up the video to spare you the boring uh, task of actually putting the tent on. Um, but, um, uh, so I've condensed what took about 20 minutes, uh, and, um, as you can see, um, I had to take the roof racks off. I was hoping to get this kind of under the roof rack, but it just didn't give me enough space to cover up, uh, for the rain. So I had to take the roof off, um, the roof racks off. You can see I've got the hood open, the front straps for the tent go, uh, under, uh, the hood opening and attached to the hinges, uh, on the engine bonnet. Um, and so uh, the rest is just putting the poles in. They went in fairly easily, uh, adjusting to make sure it's tight. You can see there's some fidgeting going on there, and that's, I, you know, I guess normal. It wasn't, um, uh, it wasn't difficult by any means. It was just making sure you've got them even on both sides and uh, the tension's right on both sides. You didn't want any water to get in. Um, it rained all night and, and no water came in, so it, it worked really well in that sense. Um, so, um, yeah, it, uh, it went in pretty easy. All right, so now that the tent is up, let's show you the inside. The zipper's here. The zippers on these are pretty good. So here's the inside. I'm not going to keep it open long so I don't want the bugs in. I've got everything in there now. I'm going to start taking some of that stuff out um, so I can get uh, so I can get the bed ready.
got my pillow, so I'll have to have a sack with some clothes in for a pillow. Hey, so there's my basic setup for the night. I've got a home mattress pad. I've got a cheapy sleeping bag from Canadian Tire. Got my blue Eddy. Got my sleep machine. All set up for the night. Not a trout. Don't think that was a trout. Slurry flash. Hey, not a bad little guy. Live to fight another day. Supper again, beans and wieners. Since the fish eluded us. Wieners. Thank you. 
chairs. Oh, well, guys, it's uh, raining out, so I'm going to call it a night. And uh, hopefully see you in the morning. Uh, hopefully I stay dry in this tent. Um, I got things a little soaked getting in here, but not much I could do about that. Um, and uh, <laughs> had I made a decision earlier, I probably would have packed up and gone home, but um, I'm here for the night now, so we'll make the best of it. It is supposed to stop overnight. It was supposed to stop earlier, but um, we'll see uh, how it goes. See you in the morning. Well, morning, guys. It is um, 20 after 5. Slept okay. It pretty much drizzled all night. Uh, I got up to use the washroom about 1.32 o'clock and it was still drizzling pretty good. Um, I think it stopped now. Um, so I'm going to get up here I think in a little bit. Got about seven hours sleep so it should be okay. And uh, see if I can find some dry clothes. And um, hit the river for again, again for an hour or so, anyways, and see what's moving this morning, and then pack up and uh, and head home. I'll have to dry out all this gear before I put it away, but I'll put it away um, while it's wet here, and then dry it out when I get home. So, anyways, the tent worked really well. Um, this uh, foam pad I have here is, is pretty comfortable and um, the tent kept me dry so I performed that this first night sleeping in the rain so it was really good to see that that uh, kept the water out like all around the here especially where um, it goes over the, the hood of the or the uh, roof of the truck and my machine worked well all night I'm down to uh, 44% on the um, on the Blue Eddy, so that's good. Um, I could probably get another night's sleep out of it if I need it. So it's good to know that that works well. Anyways, I'm going to get up here in a, bit, in a bit, and I might make myself some tea and uh, put some dry clothes on and hit the river for... Um, another hour or so and then head home. Well, it's 10 after 6 in the morning and uh, I think I'll head over to where I caught a couple little ones last night. Try to get a start this morning. Fish for an hour or so. And then uh, head back, maybe make some breakfast, pack up, camp, and head home. It is a beautiful morning, despite all of the rain we had last night. It does look like it is clearing up. It was supposed to clear off last night. It didn't. <laughs> I think it rained just about all night, but my tent kept me nice and dry, so I'm impressed.
there's a little bridge that goes across this river down where it uh, empties into the ocean. So I might, uh, there's a little tiny pool there. I might try that on my way out as well. I was out on the water for an hour or so this morning. Oh, nothing moving. I saw a couple of fish jumping. Um, didn't hook anything, so uh, yeah. I come back and have some tea. We'll see how it is in a little bit. Try it again. If not, I might just head down to the other pool, pack up here, and uh, and head down to the other pool and see uh, if there's anything going on down there. Right now, number one priority is a cup of tea. Fish on. Nice fish. Nice fish. Come on, come on. Whew. Nice little brocky. Beauty. I just saw that movement over there. Right, getting loaded up to go. I got uh, things packed away. Um, a few more things to pack away that I'll do um, after. But I'm going to take the tent down right now and show you the opposite. So once again, I sped up the video here to save uh, save you from watching the boring takedown, uh, but at the same time, give you an idea of how 
uh, easy it did uh, come down. So uh, the taking down is simply the reverse of, of putting it up. Uh, and so it uh, worked well. Uh, the tent worked great, kept me dry. Um, I had a good night despite not catching a lot of fish. I got one in the evening and then um, one in the morning as well. The one in the morning I got was a really nice looking little brookie. Um, so I was a little disappointed in the fishing um, that day, but um, uh, but it was a great night and it was a good test for the tent. Um, and I love my little truck. I love my little tent. I love my little canoe. Uh, and so, um, uh, you know, I, I didn't film a really good outro here, but um, uh, anyways, uh, I enjoyed the evening um, and uh, I look forward to more of them. A little late getting out this video. This was filmed back in June um, and we're in October, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, like and subscribe. And um, I'll be producing more of them as I uh, as I get time. Thanks again.